G'day, it's Jim at Urban Self Sufficiency. In this video, I take my boat out to an amazing freshwater lake to see if I can catch some crayfish. I'll give some tips at the end, so be sure to stick around. Okay, before we get into the tips, I just want to address one point. In this video, you saw me pulling pots from the water after only being in there for around half an hour. Now, I usually do this just to check to see if there's a few crayfish around, and as you can see, there were, so I chucked them back in for another one to two hours. Now, when I pulled the pots the second time around, they were absolutely full, had around a dozen to two dozen per pot, which is awesome, and that's what you usually see in a well-populated area. However, in between the first pulling of the pots and the second, I changed memory cards and for whatever reason, and I didn't realize until it was well too late, that all the footage from that second memory card was actually corrupted. But nevertheless, at least I had some footage showing some crayfish. Now, for these things, you can see I'm using rock melon as bait in this example, but there's actually a huge range of things you can use. So not only rock melon, but other melons work. Parboiled potatoes also works. You can use things like chicken and fish and all sorts of stuff like that. These guys will pretty much eat almost anything and I've even heard of people using bars of soap to attract them. But all in all, I think the baits that I've used that have worked the best have been potatoes, fish, chicken and rock melon. But I like using rock melon because it doesn't smell and it's really easy to prepare. Now for best results, you throw the pots into about 10 feet of water during the summer months and in the cooler months, you throw them in a little deeper at around 20 feet. And leave the pots in overnight or at least a minimum of two hours. As far as flavor, when these things are cooked up right, they taste a little bit like most other crustaceans like prawn, shrimp and lobster. And in fact, my favorite way of enjoying these is getting them in the morning after I've left the pots in overnight and actually cooking them straight up on the boat like you can see here. I fry them up in some butter and then chuck them on a little bit of toast and eat them right there on the boat. It's wonderful. Now if it's your first time here, consider subscribing for more videos like this one. And for my returning subscribers, thanks very much for your continued support. Thanks very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, take it easy.